He says, take up your cross. In other words, it's like going to be beaten to death in a concentration camp. The next minute he says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He means both, and one can see why both are true. Teachers will say that the laziest boy in class is the one who ends up working the hardest. They mean it. If you give two boys, say, a proposition in geometry to do, the one who is willing to make an effort will try to understand it. The lazy boy will try to learn it by heart because for now it requires less effort. But six months later, when they are preparing for an exam, that lazy boy is doing hours and hours of miserable work on things the other boy understands and even enjoys in a few minutes. Laziness means more work in the long run. Or look at it this way, in a battle or in climbing a mountain, there is often one thing that requires a lot of courage to do, but it is also, in the long run, the safest thing to do. If you run away, you will find yourself hours later in much worse danger. The cowardly thing is also the most dangerous thing. So it is here. The terrible thing, the almost impossible thing, is to hand over your whole self, all your wishes and precautions, to Christ. But it is far easier than what we are all trying to do instead. For what we are trying to do is to keep what we call ourselves to keep personal happiness as our great aim in life, yet be good. We are all trying to let our mind and heart go their own way, centred on money or pleasure or ambition, and hoping, in spite of this, to behave honestly and chastely and humbly. And this is exactly what Christ warned us we could not do. As he said, a thistle cannot produce figs, if I am a field that contains only grass seeds, I cannot produce wheat. Cutting the grass may keep it short, but I will still produce grass and not wheat. If I want to produce wheat, the change must be deeper than the surface. I must be ploughed up and re-sown. Excerpts from Mere Christianity Book 4, Chapter 8 By C.S. Lewis Hello, we are Soulful Devotions. If you've made it here, believe me, it wasn't by accident. God has a special purpose for your life, and we are sure that he guided you to us, to receive a message of transformation. If our content touches your heart, we ask that you like, subscribe to our channel, and share with those you love. Together we can spread the word and the love of God even further. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the word of God. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I invite you to pause now and reflect on the journey each of you is experiencing. Look at where you are, consider the challenges faced and the emotions you carry. Life can sometimes make us feel as if we are stuck in an endless cycle, walking with no clear direction. But I want you to remember an important truth. God is working in your lives, even in moments when everything seems cloudy. He is transforming circumstances, altering trajectories, and opening doors to opportunities that you have yet to discover. Even if it is not always obvious, know that he is guiding every step you take. Often we comfort ourselves with the familiar. We get used to daily routines, the same thoughts, and cling to known experiences. But consider this, what if God is signaling that it is time to embark on a new chapter? What if he is preparing you for a phase that promises growth, joy, and a revitalized purpose like never experienced before? It's time to let go of fears and doubts. Put aside the belief that you need to figure everything out on your own. God is already preparing the way ahead. He knows the final destination and guides you safely, even in moments of uncertainty. He has a clear plan. Even when you feel disoriented, God holds the map. Brothers and sisters, I understand that following the path that God proposes is not always simple. 
Often this path may seem uncomfortable and require significant changes in our lives. Change is intimidating, we know this. However, it is essential for our growth. God does not wish for us to remain stagnant indefinitely. He aims to guide us to something more grand, something that fills our hearts with peace and purpose. Look at your current circumstances. Do you feel as if life is at a standstill, or as if all doors are closing? Perhaps you have made prayers that seem unanswered. I want you to understand something fundamental. The absence of visible signs does not mean that God is not working. He is leading you, even through the obstacles that seem to block the way. God is directing you to a new path filled with promises and purpose. As we venture on this new path that God is blazing, it is crucial to learn to trust Him. Trust is a powerful word and is not easy to practice, especially when the future seems uncertain. But always remember one truth. God's plans surpass ours. He will never guide you to a place where necessary resources are lacking. God will always provide the strength, wisdom and peace needed to move forward with faith. Isaiah 43, 19 proclaims, See, I am doing a new thing. It is already happening. Don't you see it? God is already orchestrating new developments in your lives, whether you see them or not. He is setting in motion the foundations for your future, and all you need to do is follow His guidance. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 advises, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. This suggests that, even when the path is uncertain, even when the journey seems doubtful, your duty is to trust that God is guiding you exactly where you need to be. You do not need to have all the answers. You just need to trust that God has them. Therefore, today, I encourage you to open your hearts to the new direction to which God is guiding you. It may not look like what you expected, but that is because God is creating something much bigger than you could imagine. Do not be afraid to step into the unknown. Do not be afraid to leave behind what is familiar and comfortable. God is leading you to a new place, a better place, a place full of His blessings. Brothers and sisters, at times, the past can be a heavy burden, preventing us from moving forward to the life God planned for us. Perhaps it is a mistake you made, a pain you are carrying, or a situation that did not resolve as you hoped. Regardless of what it is, it is essential not to carry these burdens into the new trajectory that God is drawing for you. It is necessary to leave them behind. Leaving behind does not mean erasing memories or denying the pain you felt. It means letting go of the control the past has over your hearts. It means choosing to trust that God has something better for you, even if you do not see it clearly yet. Clinging to the past can cloud your vision, making it difficult to perceive the new opportunities God is presenting. I understand that you may think, but it is hard to let go. I do not know how to do it. I understand that leaving the past behind is not simple, especially when it has left deep marks on you. But here is a wonderful truth. God is with you at every step of this journey. He knows the hardships you face and is providing the strength necessary for you to break free. You are not alone on this journey. God's grace is sustaining you during this process. Let go of the pain. Resentment from the past can keep you tied to a cycle of disappointment and fear. But God is calling you out of that state. He invites you to a life full of peace, healing and joy. As you release the pain, you make room for the healing God wants to offer. You make room for His peace to fill your hearts. Let go of the mistakes. Perhaps you are carrying guilt or regret from past actions. 
You might even think that these mistakes define you, or that they have compromised your chances for a better future. But it is crucial to remember, God does not use the past against you. He knows your hearts and understands that you are not the same as before. You have evolved and learned. The past does not determine your future, God does. As you free yourself from these mistakes, you open up to the new possibilities God has prepared for you. He wants to offer a fresh start to guide you to a life free from the shackles of regret and guilt. But for that, you need to be willing to forgive yourself and trust that God has also forgiven you. Let go of the people who are no longer meant to be with you. I know it can be difficult. There may be people who have been in your lives for a long time, but who are not destined to walk with you in the new direction God is pointing. Sometimes God needs to remove certain people to make room for the new blessings he wants to bring. It is not always easy, but it is essential to trust that God knows what is best for you. Isaiah 43 to 18 teaches us, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. God is alerting us that the past is over, it is finished. There is no need to continue living in it. Instead, focus on what God is doing now in your lives. He is guiding you to something greater, to a place where the past cannot restrict you anymore. And as Paul tells us in Philippians 3.13, Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal. This verse motivates us to move forward, not to let the past weigh us down. Instead, we should advance toward the future that God is designing for us. There is a new path ahead, full of hope and promises. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I recognize that letting go can be challenging but God is calling us to trust in Him. He asks us to let go of what no longer serves us, what prevents us from progressing. God has something new waiting for us, something that will bless us far beyond what we can imagine, but we cannot receive it if we are still clinging to the past. Therefore, today, I encourage you to let go. Free yourself from the pain, the mistakes, the people who are no longer meant to follow with you. Open your hearts to the new direction to which God is guiding you. Trust that he is leading you to a better, brighter place. As we continue exploring how God is guiding you to a new direction, let's discuss how to recognize the signs that God is leading you. Sometimes it can be challenging to discern whether we are really on the right path or interpreting God's guidance correctly, but he often offers us signs and confirmations to help us realize his work in our lives. These signs can provide reassurance and clarity as you move forward. One clear indicator that God is in charge of your journey is the presence of deep peace. As you move into a new phase, you may experience a notable tranquility, even amidst uncertainties. This peace is not simply the absence of fear or doubt, but rather a gentle assurance that God is by your side, ensuring you are following the correct direction. If you notice an unusual calmness and confidence, even with changes happening, this could be a sign that God's peace is guiding your steps. Another clear sign can be seen in the circumstances around you. Often God manifests through daily events. You might notice that new opportunities arise in a specific area of your lives while other doors close. These changes can be ways in which God directs you to the path he has planned. Stay attentive to how situations adjust to the direction you feel is from God. When things start to align in a way that makes sense, this can be a confirmation that you are on the right track. God can also use people around you to confirm his plan. You may find that friends, family or even strangers bring words of encouragement or advice that echo what is already in your hearts. 
These people can offer insights or, or reinforcements that are in harmony with the direction you perceive you are being guided. It is as if God is using these individuals to affirm that you are, indeed, following the right direction. Prayer and reflection are essential for understanding divine guidance. As you turn to God in prayer, asking for direction and wisdom, he often responds with clarity and serenity. Dedicate time to prayer, asking God to reveal his will and provide the necessary signs. He will guide your hearts and minds, clarifying his direction more evidently. A strong sense of purpose is another indication of God's leadership. As you walk in the direction set by God, you may experience a renewal in your sense of purpose and passion. This feeling can be a sign that you are aligning with God's plan for your lives, providing the energy and enthusiasm needed to follow the new path prepared by Him. The emergence of opportunities that align with your gifts and passions is also a sign of divine guidance. As God leads you to a new path, you might notice opportunities that perfectly match your talents and interests. These opportunities can be God's way of guiding you towards a course where you can meaningfully and impactfully use your gifts. Proverbs 3, 6 teaches us, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. This verse emphasizes that, by seeking God and trusting in him, he will guide us clearly. He will straighten our paths and provide signs to ensure we are following in the right direction. Psalm 119, 105 states, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. God's word and his direction act as a light, illuminating our journey. As you seek his guidance, he clarates the path ahead, offering clarity and security. Brothers and sisters, as you continue on this journey of following a new direction, stay vigilant to the signs God is sending. Observe the peace he offers, the confirmations from the circumstances around you, the words of encouragement from others, and the clarity obtained through prayer. Embrace the renewed sense of purpose and the opportunities that match your gifts. These signs are ways in which God guides and confirms that you are on the right path. Always remember that God is continuously communicating with us, guiding us, and providing the necessary signs. Trust in his guidance and be assured that he is leading you to a new path filled with his love and purpose. God bless you. And as we move forward, continue to be attentive to his signs and trust in his direction. You are never alone on this journey. God accompanies every step you take. Stay alert to his signs and proceed with faith and courage on the path he is tracing for you. Brothers and sisters, it is essential to address a common difficulty that many face, overcoming doubts and fears. When we realize that God is directing us to a new path, it is natural to feel uncertainties and fears about the unknown. However, these feelings should not prevent us from progressing. Let's discuss how you can overcome these doubts and fears with faith and trust in God. Doubts often arise when we are unsure about whether or not we are truly hearing God's voice or if we are making the right decision. It is common to question ourselves Am I sure that this is what God wants for me? What if I am making a mistake? These uncertainties can create confusion and make the path ahead murky. But remember, it is normal to have doubts. What matters is how we deal with them. The first step to facing doubts is to anchor yourself in God's promises. He has promised guidance, constant presence and clarity on your path. When doubts emerge, remember these promises and trust that God's plan for you is benevolent and that he will provide the direction and clarity needed. Firmly believe that he is faithful and that his guidance will not lead you astray.
Fear is also a major obstacle that can hold you back. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, and fear of making wrong choices can be paralyzing. Fear can make you want to return to what is familiar, even if that is not the path God is pointing to. But God does not want you to live in fear. He wants you to live with faith and courage. To overcome fear, focus on God's strength rather than your own limitations. When you feel afraid, remember that God is greater than your fears. He is more powerful than any challenge you may face. In 2 Timothy 1.7 we find, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This verse teaches us that fear does not come from God. On the contrary, he grants us power, love and a sound mind to face challenges confidently. Taking small steps of faith is an effective strategy. To overcome fear, when the path ahead seems intimidating, break it down into manageable steps. Each small step taken can strengthen your confidence and mitigate fear. Trusting God for each move, knowing that he will guide you and provide the necessary strength. Surrounding yourself with support and encouragement is equally vital. Sharing your fears and doubts with others can offer comfort and a fresh perspective. Seek friends, mentors or spiritual leaders who can provide prayers, encouragement and wisdom. Having a solid support system can help you stay resilient and focused on God's promises. Also, remember the times when God has guided you through challenging situations. Reflect on moments when you face doubts and fears, but witness divine intervention in your lives. These memories serve as testimonies to God's faithfulness and his ability to navigate you through moments of uncertainty. Furthermore, value the growth process that accompanies each step of faith. Often God places us in front of challenges and uncertainties to strengthen our faith and shape our character. Even if the journey is tough, trust that God is using each moment for your good and to fulfill his purpose in your lives. Psalm 34.4 offers great comfort. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. This verse assures us that as we seek the Lord, he will free us from our fears. As you seek God and trust in his leadership, he will provide the strength and courage needed to face and overcome fears. And as Isaiah 41, 10 encourages us, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is with you at every moment of doubt. He will provide strength, support, and sustenance. You are not alone in facing your fears. God is by your side, offering support and guidance every step of the way. Brothers and sisters, as you proceed in the new direction that God has charted for you, remember that it is normal to feel doubts and fears, but do not let them dominate the journey. Anchor yourself in God's promises and the strength he provides. Take steps of faith even if small. Seek support in your community and reflect on how God has been faithful in the past. Remember, God is with you and will guide you through each challenge that arises. Therefore, release the doubts and fears that are holding you back. Embrace the new direction with faith and courage, confident that God is in control and leading you to something even greater. Stand firm in his guidance, moving forward with confidence. You are not alone in this walk. God accompanies every step you take. Dear ones, I leave you with words of encouragement and hope. God is moving you to a new trajectory, and it is essential to cling to his promises and seek strength in his word. May the verses mentioned be a source of inspiration and comfort. As you walk the new path God has prepared for each of you. First consider Joshua. 
1. 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This verse is a powerful call to courage. God promises to be with you at every step of this new journey. You are not alone in facing challenges. He is by your side, providing strength and courage. When fear or discouragement arises, remember that God's presence is the most secure assurance that you can overcome any obstacle. Romans 8.28 also offers a great promise. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. This assurance reminds us that everything, even the challenges and uncertainties, contributes to your good. God has a plan for your lives, and every detail is being meticulously orchestrated to align with his perfect purpose. Trust that, even in difficulties, God is working in your favor. Additionally, Psalm 32 to 8 brings a beautiful promise. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. This verse highlights God's commitment to guide and advise you. More than just leading, he commits to offering ongoing guidance and to care for you with love. Under God's watchful guidance, you can navigate confidently in this new direction. And finally, Reflect on Philippians 1.6, which assures us, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God has started a wonderful work in each of you, and he is faithful to complete it. You can have full confidence that God's plans are good and that he will fulfill them. Trust in God's faithfulness and believe that he is working in and through you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, may these verses serve as pillars of strength and motivation. God is by your side, guiding and making all things work together for your good. Venture into the new direction with faith and confidence, knowing that he is leading you to a place of blessings and purpose. Keep your hearts open to his guidance. Trust in his promises and let his word illuminate your paths. Proceed with courage and hope. Aware that God's plan for you is filled with love and wonders. Now let's conclude this message with a prayer. Eternal Father, with humility and faith, we acknowledge your leadership in our lives, guiding us through new paths filled with divine purposes. As we tread these new paths, we plead for your wisdom and constant guidance. Lord, we ask that you extend your healing hand over those among us who face tribulations, be they physical, emotional, or spiritual. Grant them comfort and strength, envelop them with your compassion, and restore their integrity and health through the richness of your mercy. We also turn our hearts to our material needs trusting entirely in your provision. Bless our efforts and work, provide abundance where there is scarcity, and guide us in managing our resources. Open doors to new opportunities that allow us not only to meet our needs, but also to be a blessing to others. Loving Father, we yearn for restoration in every sphere of our lives. Heal broken relationships, renew opportunities that have slipped away, and repair what has been damaged. Give us eyes to see and hearts to recognize your restorative work, transforming desolation into fullness. We implore your unwavering protection over us and our loved ones. Defend us from dangers and adversities and surround us with your reassuring presence, ensuring peace and safety with each step we take under your sacred direction. We submit our insecurities and fears to you, placing our unrestricted trust in your power and love. Saturate our spirits with your transcendent peace and infuse us with courage to advance, anchored in the certainty of your eternal faithfulness. We thank you for your constant proximity and the promises that sustain us. 
We depend on you for everything, trusting that your strength is perfect in our weakness. In the name of Jesus, our guide and saviour, we pray. Amen. I have full confidence that you have been greatly blessed today. Therefore, show your joy by helping to share the Word of God. It's simple, just like subscribe and share our videos. By doing so, you are fulfilling what is written in Mark 16, 15. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Together, with hearts full of love and gratitude, let's spread the good news of the Lord to every corner of the world, answering his call powerfully. Thank you for joining us until the end of this video and for praying with us. It is an honor to be part of your spiritual journey and your daily life. May God continue to bless you and your family abundantly. See you in the next video. God bless.